It's one thing to read about something, look at cases and examples, but it's another thing to take action. It's not good enough just to do it for an academic exercise. The expectation is trying to make the world a better place. If, if not us, then who? So I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, in a small town right outside the city called Avon Lake. Uh, I did my undergraduate work at Ohio University in Athens, Ohio. Uh, I did my graduate studies here at Arizona State University. I uh, did my master's degree in education, and I did my doctorate in innovation and leadership in higher education. When I was in high school, I played drums in a band. We had a vision to share our art, our music, with as many people as we possibly could. I didn't realize that being in a band is forming a company. We were producing and selling our own music out of our van. And having gone through that experience of combining art with commerce, uh, I caught the entrepreneurship bug. When I was being trained as an entrepreneur, two decades ago, almost three decades ago, we were taught to basically say, if we build it, they will come. Turned out that that's not good enough in the world of entrepreneurship. I know how powerful it is to bring together multiple disciplines to solve for X. And I'm also very keen on pushing this pedagogy that I describe as venture-based learning. The course that I teach at the undergraduate level is called Entrepreneur and Value Creation. What does it mean for me as a human being to create value, to imagine a better way of doing something that is going to make someone else's life easier, better, more enjoyable, more efficient? And the good news is we can teach it, right? We have a methodology you can follow to learn how to create value and to think like an entrepreneur. And it's just a thrilling thing to think about making people's lives better at full scale.